Well, welcome back into the studio for another Mixed Media Basics. This month we are going to review Crackle Paste. So I've selected these six Crackle Paste, one of which I use on a regular basis. But I have um, a lot of these I haven't even tried or tested. So the Deco Art Media is one I have not tried. I've heard a lot of people really love it, so I want to see what it's all about. Um, the Finnebear White Crackle Texture Paste. So they do have it available in other, like there's a silver one. There's a lot of different ones. Um, but I have always used the White Crackle. The Ranger Opaque Crackle Texture Paste, which is, it is a little bit different, so it's supposed to be really high in opacity, which really, I would think most are, unless it says it's clear. And we're gonna review the Golden Crackle Paste. And Ranger has another one called a Texture Paste in the distress line in crackle. Now this is available in a matte or in a crackle. So I'm not quite sure if we actually get crackles with it or not. I really am only reviewing these because I wanted to know what the difference was between the two. So we'll see what that is. And then Liquitex crackle paste. And um, yeah, so this is what we're going to go through in review. And I'm going to actually do them on a piece of um, paper that does have the some of the uh, Distress Oxide sprayed into the background so that it will, when we get the cracks, we can see through. Um, see them really well because of the coloration in the back. But then I thought these are a moderately weighted mixed media paper. I thought we might try it on like a construction paper, which is really pretty thin and really absorbent just to see what it does. Um, and I chose to go with a black again so we could see the cracks through them. So the first one we're gonna try out is the Crackle Paste by Deco Art Media. So that's the first one we're gonna test out. Okay, Deco Art Media Crackle Paste. So the Deco Art Media's description is, says that it's a dimensional white crackle paste that creates eggshell cracking patterns as it dries. And this is a four ounce tub and it was, at the time of this filming, it was $5.99 for the tub. So that equals out to about $1.50 per ounce. Now I'm gonna try and get some thicker areas and some thinner areas. You can really see that oxide coming through. That's fine, I'm not, I anticipated that. So it's thinner over here, and maybe I'll actually even thin that up even more, and then thicker over here so that we can see uh, what we end up getting. And one thing I notice is this is pretty thin and it seems to have like a real gloss to it. So that's the first thing I've noticed. It seems just a little thinner. I could actually pour it out. All right, and I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm letting all of these dry on their own um, because true to probably nine and a half out of 10 
crackle paste suggests that you let them dry naturally, you get better cracks. So I'm going to do that, setting that to the side. So the next one we're gonna review is the Finnebar uh, by Prima Texture Paste. And this is a, comes in a white crackle. It comes in a lot of different crackle types. This is the one that I have used <laughs> a lot. I use it all the time. I actually carry it in my store. This is an eight and a half fluid ounce tub and it's $15 a tub. And that's $1.76 an ounce. And this is pretty thick. And again, I'm gonna do very thin areas and thicker areas to see what we get. in terms of our diversity of crackle. And this is, again, this is the one I traditionally have used in the past. Put that aside. And then we're gonna use this Ranger texture paste in the opaque crackle. And this comes in a 3.9 fluid ounce. And, oh, it's fluffy. The description on it is that it is ideal for adding dimensional layers onto a variety of surfaces. Um, you can use it with stencils. Oops. You can add um, ink or paint over the dry paste or you can mix it in with acrylic paints, reinkers. Um, it says it's a wide mouth jar, but um, in comparison, I don't know that that's necessarily true. It's really fluffy and it's really smooth. Um, the description says nothing about the crackling. So, it's just spinning and I'm making a mess. It is really fluffy and very smooth. Okay, I try and get it thicker and go thinner. Okay. A mess of that. All right. Um, the opaque crackle in the texture paste runs six thirty seven for this three point nine ounce jar, which is a dollar sixty an ounce. All right. So next, we're going to use the golden crackle paste. This comes in an eight ounce jar. It is thick, opaque, medium, and it cracks as it dries. I have never used this before, obviously. And the crack size increases with thicker application. It can be tinted with acrylic paints before it is painted or applied. Actually, Now it says that it is recommended to be used with a prime rigid substrate. 
um, which we are not doing at the moment. This is definitely not rigid. So I'm wondering if there's going to be some curling, especially on the thinner black paper, or if it's going to interrupt our crackle. Now it's more, it's much more grainy than the other three options that we've used. It seems to have a grainier texture to it. And for this eight ounce jar, it runs twelve seventy three, which is a dollar fifty nine an ounce. It's very lightweight. We are getting some bleed through, but not as much as we have had on the others over here. All right, so the next one is going to be the Ranger Distress. Oops. The Ranger Distress Texture Paste in Crackle. So it looks identical to the other one that we used by Ranger. And the definition or the description on this product says it's an opaque medium ideal for creating dimensional effects. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Colorize wet or dry using the Distress products. So it should go on top of this well. Available in a mat and a crackle. So it is thin. Uh, not not thin, I'm sorry, light, but it is thick. It's very smooth. Yeah, go thicker here. It's hard to get thick. There we go. Okay, so that is the Distress Texture Paste. And finally, we are going to use the Liquitex Crackle Paste. Oh, the Distress Crackle Paste, it comes in a three ounce tub. It's $5.94 for the three ounce and it, that is $1.98 an ounce. And then the Liquitex comes in an eight ounce jar. I've already opened this one. The description on it is that it affects acrylic crackle paste. It, you can mix it gives your paintings a dramatic crackle surface texture by mixing it into your color or using it alone. The effects remain structurally stable when used on rigid surfaces. So this one also says specifically to use on rigid surfaces, which we're not, just like the golden said it. This one is very creamy just like the, um, it's actually more creamy than, it's not as opaque as the others. And I see a reactivation of the distress oxides where it touches them, but I don't necessarily seeing it being soaked in as of yet anyways. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay, and then the Liquitex in the eight ounce jar runs $13.39, which is $1.67 an ounce. So if we look at just 
the price per ounce, the best by cost is the Deco Art because it's $1.50 an ounce, but it only, you can't get it in large quantity. You can only get it in the four ounce size. It's not available in any larger sizes. So next we're gonna go through, while these are drying, and we are gonna lay down the paste on our thinner, black construction paper just for yayas here to see how it does on a thinner surface and maybe I'll pull out some thicker surfaces and see how it does on the thick surfaces as well. So I found some thicker, um, this is watercolor paper, it's really thick. So I'm going to paint it black and set it to the side and we're going to use this to do some sampling of it on a more um, rigid surface but I was just moving over all of our samples here and I already have one that's starting to show crackles and that is the Finibear the one I use all the time is already showing crackles none of the others have dried yet of course the Finibear was the second one I've I laid down but I'm already getting crackles. So I'm gonna give this up um, some, apply some black paint onto this or some paint onto this, the darker paint, so that we can um, see the cracks coming through. And um, so I'll be right back, get that done. So I'm just gonna lay down each of these texture paste onto this thick, heavyweight, watercolor paper that I've put black gesso over the top. I'm going to speed this up and play some music here for you uh, just because otherwise this is going to be a really long video and it's long as it is. So. Right, so everything has had an opportunity to dry. So the first we reviewed was the Deco Art Media, which comes in the four ounce at $5.99 or $1.50 an ounce. And we put it onto pretty thin paper with Distress Oxide Sprays on it. And I was pretty disappointed. We did not get hardly any crackles. Um, a couple in the thin area, but not very much in the thick areas. Um, and when I had picked it up, I had noticed you can make it crackle um, by going back in. So that's a little bit of a saving grace. But then maybe it is about the fact that we have distress oxide and it's a real thin paper. Um, it did allow the 
the stress oxides to bleed up, which I expected because that's the case with when you use any of the Ranger sprays because they're not, um, they are water soluble and they will reconstitute similar to um, watercolors. So uh, they're not, they're also not light fast, just FYI. So on the black construction paper, real thin paper, we got more crackles going on in the thicker areas, but hardly anything in the thinner areas, except for where it got a little bit thicker. Beautiful crackle, but yes, definitely wrinkled up the paper as I had actually expected. So then on very heavy watercolor paper with, um, with just an acrylic paint background, we got pretty good crackle. I mean, not as much as I had hoped in the thicker areas. I was hoping for some big ones, kind of similar to this. Um, but we did get crackle and pretty nice even coverage throughout. So that is the Deco Art Media Crackle Paste. And this is $1.50 an ounce, at, and it's only available in a four ounce tub at $5.99. All right, the next one was the Finnebear. Finnebear, okay. So the Finnebear, which is the one that I've used traditionally in the past, um, runs $15 for an eight, 0.5 fluid ounce tub or $1.76 an ounce. This one, whereas this one was really smooth and thin, this one was smooth and a lot thicker. It was more like um, a modeling paste, really. So on top of, we got awesome crackle, but a lot of lift up on the paper that had the distress oxides. So you can see how this just really, I don't know if you can see how that lifted up there. Um, did have a bleed through of the distress oxides. You can see some of the crackle. You can kind of see where it made the cracks there. That could be fun technique to kind of investigate once you peel all this off. Maybe even what you could do, this would be fun to try out, is do a light color of a Distress Oxide. Put your texture paste over, allow it to dry, spray with a dark color that goes through the cracks. Let it percolate and then flake off the excess and you might get some really interesting things going on there. So that is on the regular weight mixed media paper with the Distress Oxides. Here is the Finnebear on the black construction paper. It just totally curled up. We got good adherence to the paper. It's not really lifting up like it did here. And I suspect that that was only because of the distress oxides. Got great crackle, but it did mess with and wrinkle up that paper quite a bit. And then true to what I know it to have done on regular watercolor, a heavy, a heavy rigid substrate it performed beautifully and you can see I had it super thick at this end and we still got crackle and we did not get lift up. We got beautiful large crackles all the way down to the finite. And this is typically what I have experienced with the Finnebear texture paste in the white crackle. Again, 8.5 ounce tub for $15 or $1.76 an ounce. It only comes in this size. All right, so the next one that we reviewed was the Ranger Texture Pace in the Opaque Crackle. I was curious to see if this was any different 
than the Ranger Distress Texture Paste in the Crackle. So I'm gonna put these side by side. The Ranger Texture Paste in the Opaque Crackle comes in a four ounce tub for $6.37, which is $1.59 an ounce. And the Distress Texture Paste comes in a three ounce tub at $5.94 for the three ounces or $1.98 an ounce. So this is per ounce more expensive than the texture paste. So this is the Ranger texture paste and opaque crackle. Really surprising how it reacted with the distress oxides. This really curled up, haven't had one curl up this much on the mixed media paper. And it really absorbed the distress oxides into that. And then this is the Ranger Distress Texture Paste in Crackle. It again absorbed that, but it did not wrinkle that paper. Got even, pretty even crackles. Thinner areas, a little bit smaller. And then the Ranger Texture Paste on the black really curled up as well. Got pretty nice cracks, but it definitely curled up just as it did, not so much, with the Distress Texture Paste. And didn't get very many small crackles. So the R Ranger Texture Paste and the Opaque Crackle gave us some really nice, larger, mostly larger, not a lot of small, on the thick, rigid, substrate with the acrylic paint on the background. I really think it performed better on this than it did on these. And the Distress basically looks exactly the same. To be honest with you, I don't think there's much difference in these two tubs other than this one is called Distress and this one is not. However, this one's a $1.59 an ounce and this one's $1.98 an ounce. So maybe because it has the word distress on it, it's more popular and has a higher price tag. Not quite sure, but that's how those two performed. Wasn't quite impressed. I was hoping that we would see it react more positively with mixed media paper with its own Rangers product, the Distress Sprays. So that is those. All right, so the next is the Golden. And let me find, here's our sample of the Golden on the mixed media paper. Now this one did say, the directions or the description says it's better when used with a rigid support. This is definitely not a rigid support. Did not get very many crackles. We do have lifting of the crackle paste once it's dried. Did not get any neat looking but it might if we tried that test over it. Um, it did have some bleed through, but not completely, of the Distress Oxides. It is still very granular in texture as it was. It's very light, thick, and granulated. It wasn't smooth like many of these others are. So then when it was placed on the black construction paper, because it says it 
is better when used on a rigid support. I was very surprised that this didn't wrinkle up, say, like this or like this, but we didn't get very many crackles. I like how it did keep its thicker areas. It did not settle. I like that. Um, and then this is how it performed on a rigid surface. It kept its thickness here, which is hard to see. It We did get crackles, just not any really exciting ones. They're all pretty uniform. Um, so the golden is eight ounce a jar comes in an eight ounce jar. It also comes in a 16, a 32, and 128 ounce jars or tubs. The eight ounce is $12.73 or $1.59 an ounce. And it goes down. So if you, the 16 ounce is $22.60 or $1.41 an ounce. The 32 ounce tub is $31.42 a tub or $1.01 an ounce. And then of course the best buy is the 128 ounce at 82.24 or 64 cents an ounce. So if you're using this on large pieces and you need large quantities, this is the only brand that carries a crackle paste in large quantities. And if you're not looking for, you're looking for a basic crackle then this is the win, I would say all around, but like I said, for a real basic crackle, nothing spectacular like the large and the small here. So, but if you are needing it in large quantity, you use a lot of crackle paste, then this is the one to go with for sure. That dollar amount per per ounce is nice. So the last one we're gonna review is the Liquitex. So I was kind of surprised with this. The Liquitex really wrinkled it up, but it does say it's better when used on stable, rigid surfaces. I was surprised that we had lift up with this. I guess I was surprised that we had lift up with both of these. I don't know if I should be surprised because it is on the oxides, the Ranger oxides. It did pull in all of the color on all of it, even the thick areas. It did pull up the color from the Distress Oxides. The I didn't get very many cracks at all on the thinner construction paper. It did do some wrinkling. No big surprise, I think all of them did. Yeah, all of them did have wrinkling, some more than others, but all of them wrinkled. And then on the rigid surface, we did get some fairly large cracks and some smaller ones, just not tiny little ones. I was surprised we didn't get more smaller cracks down in here on the thin stuff. And we did still keep our height on where it was placed thicker. It did level a little bit more than say the golden. Or the finna bear which did really keep its height. Now, similar to a lot of these others, this was a lot smooth. It was, it was smoother than the golden when it went down in its liquid form, but more granulated than the Finabare, the Deco Art, or the Ranger products. But you can't tell that when it's, once it dries. It's very smooth once it dries. So the Liquitex only comes in an eight ounce jar at $13.39 for the eight ounce jar or $1.67 an ounce. 
So the, I think that I am going, as long as it's available, I think I am going to stick with, well, I don't know. The Finibear is $1.76 an ounce, whereas the Liquitex is $1.67 an ounce. But I was happiest right here with these, with these crackles right here. Um, I, I do use a lot of crackle paste, but I don't know if I use enough to make that low of a bang. <laughs> that disappointing amount of crackle. So I suppose, well, these are nice, but they're pretty uniform. Not, we can put these in the same because I think this is the same product, really. So this is where I would rate them myself for my purposes. Well, I don't know. This is a better price. Liquitex is a better price than the Finibear. This is this is how I would rate them in quality of crackle. Finnebear Liquitex Ranger Golden Art Deco. In terms of price for the eight ounce, we're gonna say mid-range. I'm going to say for price, versus crackle. Well, price, we're gonna go, price this has to go. Cause this is available in a larger quantity so you can get your price per ounce down. And really this is less than that. And it's less than this. But like that crackle, that just like pushes that one out of the range for me and to be honest so does this because it's all uniform it's not I mean it's good crackle there's lots of separation in between the pieces but it's just so expensive at a dollar 59 or a dollar 98 an ounce so you really want to go with this one of them the texture paste is less expensive it's a dollar 59 an ounce so that brings us in here. Uh, yeah. But I think I'm pretty drawn to this, these two crackles. And I think I'm gonna switch over to the Liquitex to be honest with you. I get some smaller cracks some larger cracks that can be exploited. And yeah. So you have to make your own decisions on what works for you. What are you most interested in looking at for? Price or are you interested in the type of crackle you get? Or because you use a large quantity, you're looking to get it available in larger quantities? Really, you have to look at what is most important to you. So hopefully, this has really helped you to make some decisions around Crackle Pace and to see how we can or can't utilize the Crackle Pace because of some of its limitations. Thank you for coming in to today and watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I am ever growing close to some personal goals on subscribership here. Um, so if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy my content and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Now I know I covered a lot of information here today, 
but I did create a downloadable PDF. So down below in the description box are all the supplies and links to those that I use today, as well as that free download information sheet.